Hey guys, Sparky Aline here from Lucino Studios. I'm here with Greg Ayers. How's it going? <laughs> One of the most famous Funimation. <laughs> famous. <laughs> Voice actors. How are you today? Pretty good, pretty good. It's the end of the con, oh. so. Tired, but. Tired. Yeah. We're at MusiCon right now in Miami, Florida. <laughs> Yeah. We're so tired. And thank you for agreeing. Oh, no, not at all. It's fun. Yeah, it's always fun. I just have like, a few questions for you. Yeah. How'd you get into voice acting? Uh, I have a weird voice. I mean, if I sound like this in my 40s, imagine what I sound like when I was younger. Uh, and uh, I've, I've done theater my whole life. And uh, so much about getting into any industry is who you know and whatnot. Well, some people that I've done theater with, namely Chris Patton and Monica Real, were already doing voiceover work. Uh, and they were looking for the voice of a little kid and they uh, they were like oh call my friend he works at a law firm and he sounds like he's 12 so literally my first audition for ADV films was just my voicemail at work really? they called after hours and just listening to my voicemail and they're like wow that guy does sound like young so then after that once I'd done a little bit about you know acting for them it's just word of mouth and then you know people just start using you eventually we started working for Funimation and now we work for everybody how, how do you feel about Funimation like what has what has it done for you uh, uh, well, I mean, it's <laughs> a really weird question. Uh, it's a company, so I don't have any feelings for a company per se. Uh, I'm really more attached to the shows that I work on. Like companies, companies make good moves and bad moves. So like, it's I try not to invest anything in a company, but like the people I work with and the shows I work on, I really love. Uh, I've gotten to do some really great projects for Funimation. I've got a new one that's coming out that I can't talk about. That it's just oh. killing me that I can't talk about it because it's a really fun show. So keep a lookout. Uh, or I, I can play a villain, which I never get to play a villain. Oh, really? This is fun, yeah. That's a really, really, really funny villain. But, uh,. So, uh, but yeah, I, I really tend to, because I've worked for so many different studios, you know, yeah. ADV Films, Sentai, Opertron, Amusement Park Media, uh, Funimation, it's, it, those are just like the places where we all go to play, you know, it's more about the people I get to work with, and I'm lucky, I've gotten to work with some of my favorite people in the industry, so. Um, one last question, yeah. what's the favorite anime that you've gotten to work on? Oof, that's tough, man, there's like, it's like always a top five, uh, unfortunately, it's one I can't talk about is definitely batting up in the top five, but yeah, it's really cool. I really like the show a lot. Uh, Dead Man Wonderland was really cool. Um, Chrono Crusade is always going to be a favorite of mine. Uh, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad is another really fun one. Uh, and I just did one for Sentai Filmworks called uh, From the New World that I really like a lot. Uh, oh, and another that Monica, Monica and I do all the bloody shows together. So another, yeah, another one's a lot of fun too. Yeah, it's such a cool show. Oh uh, yeah, there's so many. Yeah. Well, thank you for being in. Oh, not at all. It's fun. Mm -hmm. You guys keep watching. Reporting from Musicon. Thank you. Have a great night.